hello from the Waterworks Museum, and welcome to another Try a Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about some of the animals that make their home around the Chestnut Hill Reservoir in honor of Earth Day. Wherever you have freshwater rivers, watersheds, and reservoirs that make up our water system, you'll also find a variety of plant and animal life thriving there. Even in the case of man-made reservoirs, like our own at Chestnut Hill. Some of these animals are harder to notice when you're walking or driving by. Like these turtles. Others are a little easier to spot, like geese, swans, and ducks. And some only stick around for a short time, like butterflies and dragonflies, who only stop by for a few weeks in the summer. One of the reasons that reservoirs can host such a wide variety of animal life is because they're also home to a wide range of plant life. Many of the waterfowl like to feed on the grasses both around the reservoir and on its bottom floor. Butterflies enjoy drinking the nectar from flowers along the perimeter of the reservoir, while dragonflies use the flowers as hunting grounds for the small insects they enjoy eating. They'll also eat worms and insects that live in the water. Most of our turtle friends are omnivores, meaning they like to eat both meat and veggies. They will sometimes feed on small fish, aquatic plants and insects, and even algae. We might be more in tune with nature in a scenic place like the Chestnut Hill Reservoir, which is taken care of by the Massachusetts Water Resources Authority and the Department of Conservation and Recreation. But it's important to respect and take care of nature even in our own backyard. That's why your challenge today is to go on a nature scavenger hunt either in your own backyard or around your neighborhood. Here are some things you can look out for on your scavenger hunt as you take a closer look at the wildlife in your own backyard. And of course, you can always add your own. If you do decide to go outside, remember to stay at least six feet away from other people and wear a mask if you can. But you can also do your scavenger hunt just by looking out your window. Here are some things I can find just by looking out my back door. If you do decide to do a nature scavenger hunt, please let us know, we'd love to hear about it. And don't forget to tune in next week for another Try It Tuesday. Happy Earth Day, and see you next time.